Good morning to you on this Thursday morning. We continue our consideration of Proverbs chapter 30. Today we read from verse 6. Do not add to his words, or he will reprove you, and you will be proved a liar. Two things I asked of you, do not refuse me before I die. Keep deception and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food that is my portion. That I not be full and deny you, and say, Who is the Lord? Or that I not be in want, and steal, and profane the name of my God. Do not add to his words or take away from them. There's a warning in the end of the Bible, in the book of Revelation, about adding to God's word. If you add to his words, that he will add to you all of the horrible things that are described there. Or if you take away from his word, he'll take away your name from the book of life. It's a very serious matter to tinker with the word of God. The Bible is the Bible. It's God's word. It was written by the Holy Spirit, inspiring men to write. It's not for us to change it. It's not for us to muck around with it, to decide what we believe in, what we don't believe in. We take all of God's word as God's word and we don't add to it. We don't subtract from it. And then we're on the right path. Also here is a prayer that we would not have too much or too little. We pray that in the Lord's Prayer every day. Give us this day our daily bread. We take that middle road. We ask that the Lord would just look after us, sustain us, and He does. He looks after us. We have the promise, my God shall supply all of your needs according to His riches and glory through Christ Jesus our Lord. And it's a great place to be and to know that God is looking after us. He takes care of all of our needs in every single way. So let's be grateful to Him today. Let's make sure that we are true to His word and that we never ever add to it, subtract from it. And let's be grateful for all the gifts that He gives to us and that He is always looking out for us. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for a night's rest and a new day. We ask your blessing over this day. We thank you as we, Lord, are getting so close to Christmas now that we are able to celebrate the wonderful gift that you gave to us by giving us Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you came into the world. You came as our Savior. We love you, bless you, and thank you. We worship, praise, and adore you. We join with the heavenly hosts in singing glory to God in the highest. We praise you, worship you. Lord, we pray for someone that doesn't know you yet, that this would be the day that you would open their hearts to you. We pray for our government. We pray, Lord, that you would give them wisdom. As things are starting to get a little bit more complicated again, we ask, Lord, that you would just show them the right way, help them navigate through this. We pray for our doctors, our nurses, our carers. We pray, Lord, that you would renew their strength and help them. We do pray for an end to this coronavirus, but you know all things, so we leave it in your hands. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we pray for the sick and the dying and all who are in need. We pray for those who are in despair. We pray for those who find this time of the year very difficult and lonely, that you would, Lord, just come alongside them, lay your hand upon them and bless them. You know our every need and you have promised to provide for our needs, so we are so grateful to you. We ask your blessing over this day, over our loved ones near and far. And now we pray, Lord, that you would hear us as we join together in praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, may the Lord bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow morning.